Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a function with variable number of input arguments. Uh, for instance, let's say we want to create a function which we don't know how many number of arguments it will take. At the time of function writing, we are not sure how many number of arguments this function can take. So in such cases, uh, variable number of input arguments are used. So I'm going to uh, write a simple function and this function can take any number of input argument and what this function will do this function simply add all those numbers and return their average okay so first we need to write function this will be the out arguments name of our function is average now we don't know the number of input argument so here what we are going to write where out. so it actually variable argument input where ergin so here first of all i'm going to compute their sum i'm taking a variable initial uh, initializing it with zero then i'm running a loop x equal to ergin sum plus sum plus x and and in y sum so let's understand this code first so we have written that name of our function is average and this function is going to take variable number of input arguments we have iterated on this variable number of argument this is actually a list so whatever arguments you will pass in this function every argument will be stored in this list I have iterated on this list I have added each of the element in this list to this variable sum at the end what I have done I have divided the total of uh, this list item by the length of this list so this length function will return how many number of elements are there in this list. So let's call this function a b r e g. So I'm passing here five arguments. Let's see what it will return. So it's returning four. Okay. Now again call it. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, just wait, we have missed something. Okay, so we actually missed here. So, see, it's working in this case as well. So, variable input arguments can be utilized in the cases when we don't have any knowledge about the number of input arguments. I hope you understand the concept of variable input arguments. Thank you very much for watching.